Hello, this is The Provoked Prawn, and this is a video to show you how to reduce background noise on the EPOS B20. This microphone has a good capture quality in terms of delivering great sound, but on its default settings I found it picked up quite a lot of background noise. That includes noise from the fans on my PC, which is just over here, and the noise of my wife on the other side of the room typing away on her keyboard. And in fact, on the default settings, if I start typing now, you'll probably hear quite a lot of that noise. You can see just the sounds that it's picking up. And that is obviously not ideal because that's not what you want. So now one of the first tips for improving the sound quality and reducing the background noise pickup is to get it on a boom arm. So this is on the Rode PSA1 at the moment. EPOS actually recommends 15 to 20 centimeters distance from the mic to your mouth. So I'm actually too far away here. It needs to be... about here which as you can see already is a lot better quality although now it's right in my face it's actually not great for the view but we can make some adjustments and get it into a better position maybe but certainly now you can see there's a much better quality to it the other thing to do obviously if you're in this position is to set a cardioid pickup button because that's what we want and to make sure that you're talking it into the front where the volume control and the mic mute button are because that's where the capture goes on for the cardioid pickup pattern and you can then adjust the gain so if you turn the gain down what happens there is you then end up picking up a lot less background noise and you can adjust some settings within Windows sound settings as well that I'll show you in a minute which will help but the best way to counter the problems that you'll have is to get it on a boom arm and get it as close to you as possible and then to reduce the gain down so that it doesn't pick up as much noise because if I just demonstrate what it does if you have the gain all the way up you would see you'll notice quite a significant change I can hear myself really clearly now but you can hear cars going by outside the noise of the fans is definitely being picked up. Taps on the desk. Even light rubs and things like that on the surrounding mouse mat and stuff. It just picks up really... It picks up a lot of the noise. So getting the gain right down makes it much more preferable. And then you can adjust the volume. So you can hear yourself better from the side tone. You can tweak that. I'll also show you how to make some adjustments in the EPOS's gaming suite software which will also improve the quality because there's some fantastic changes you can do in there. And there are other options as well. If you're streaming you can apply filters in OBS and Streamlabs OBS for noise gate and you can also use things like NVIDIA's broadcast software which has RTX voice which uses AI to minimize the problems and there are some other things that I'll show you as well in a minute. So the first thing to do is in Windows is to go into your sound settings. You want to find your input device and go to device properties, additional device properties and then under levels you'll see is set to 27 that is the gain that we're getting on the microphone and you can adjust this here rather than using the hardware knob on the mic and the lower you go the less background noise it will pick up obviously you need to be close to the microphone to make the most of this if you still have it on the desk stand and you reduce the gain you'll also find that you have trouble making yourself heard another thing that you can do if you're struggling to work out what the mic's picking up is to click to listen to this device and apply that when you do that you'll hear what the mic is picking up through your headset so you can then adjust the gain and get an idea of the background noise and compensate for that the alternative is to plug a headset into the 3.5 mil connection and monitor the microphone directly now there's also the EPOS gaming suite which is certainly one of the highlights of this device. It's worth noting that unfortunately the setup of this software requires you to have both the inputs and outputs of your 
Windows sound settings set to the EPOS device. So you can see that I have output set to EPOS B20. That means you have to run a 3.5 mil headset through the mic monitoring jack on the microphone in order to do this. Because if I choose my usual headset, which runs through my preamp for my usual microphone, it then disables this and you can see you can't use it anymore. Very inconvenient in that way. But if you are using a 3.5 mil headset, and you can plug in to the mic, you can then access various different settings in here. And you'll see there are numerous settings, and what you get is a view of the sound levels that the microphone is picking up. So you can adjust things in here. You'll see there's a voice enhancer, which I can set to adjust the quality of the voice and make me sound warmer, and that's immediately more pleasant. You can also see the gain level, so it's at 27% at the moment. Could go higher than that, but you want to keep it as low as you possibly can because that will reduce the amount of background noise. You then have the option to adjust noise gate. Now, noise gate and noise cancellation, tweaking these will reduce background noise for you. But the higher you set them, the more that will change your voice and reduce the quality of it. I recommend the best possible settings for you because it will really depend on your environment, your voice, how loud you're speaking, how close you have the microphone to your desk, the surrounding environmental noise, the soundproof qualities of your room, or the reverberations and things like that. So you just need to play around with these settings and work out what the best is for you. As I said though, if you go up to the maximum, you will find there are issues with the quality. If I set all of these settings to not be on at the moment, noise gain, noise cancellation is off. If you look at the bars, you'll see what levels it's picking up. Now, if I stop talking for a minute, you can see that over this side, it's picking up some sound from the background. And that is from passing cars outside the house and also the fan noise from my PC. So if I crank up the gain, you'll see those get worse. And you can see it in this area on the left hand side and it's really bad when you crank it all the way up. And obviously I'm a lot clearer If you drop it down around 20%, now you can see that they're still registering, but they're nowhere near as bad. And if you notice the noise gate, so here where you're adjusting it, you'll see a gray line appears in the software above where that level would be. So it's cutting out anything below that. So actually what we can do is we can drop it down a little bit more and you can see that it greys out when there's sound that is picking up this environmental noise. So now it's not really picking it up anywhere near as much and it's compensating for it so it's just not there. And if we throw in some noise cancellation as well. Now it's just a little bit of movement down there, but it's nowhere near as bad, so that's a great way to remove it, but it does require you to have your headset plugged in, which is unfortunately one downside. Now, if you're planning on using Discord, it's worth noting there are options in here. You can actually use this CRISP, which is an AI programmed system which uses AI to suppress background noise and you can find out more about it and how it works but that is an option for fairly straightforward removal of background noise from your audio but only obviously it will only work on discord when you're talking to your friends so it won't work pulling into your stream if you're streaming for example so that's worth bearing in mind but it's certainly an interesting highlight Another thing that you can do is you can set filters to your audio within Streamlabs OBS and OBS. So you can see I've got Streamlabs OBS running here. This is what I normally use to stream on, although I'm not using the microphone in the audio settings. The same logic applies. So you click on the cog down here and then click on filters. 
When you have the filters open, you can then click to apply a noise suppression filter. You can then see that it has levels on it that you can play around with. There's also a noise gate filter and you can tweak those settings too to adjust to see which ones give you the best results. Again, this is really going to vary depending on your setup, your room and the microphone position. But I'm going to link to a couple of videos in the description which go into more depth on using these sorts of filters which hopefully you'll find useful. I'll also leave a link in the description to NVIDIA software that you can use to cut out background noise using AI but that requires an NVIDIA graphics card so it's a bit more complicated and obviously requires an RTX graphics card to get the most out of it but hopefully these different tricks for improving your mic quality and reducing background noise will be useful let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.